Revelation 2 offers some telling truth in connection with Paul's prophecy. Revelation 2, verse 24. Jesus is speaking at the church at Thyatira. He's warning them of Jezebel. He said, like, don't, you know, he's like, I, I got this against you. You tolerate the woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess, who teaches in, in my servants to commit adultery and eat things sacrificed to idols. But he says, now, now Revelation 2 to 4, he says, now to you, I say, and to the rest in Thyatira, as many as do not have this doctrine, who have not known the depths of Satan, as they say, I will put no other burden upon you. What is the depths of Satan? So I mentioned one time in scripture, the depths of Satan is a dimension of deception that's just a lot deeper than your average everyday deception. See, we're all deceived in some measure. In other words, we're all believing some kind of lie. That's why Christians have insecurity. Why? Because they're believing a lie right? That's why Christians get depressed. Why? Okay, well, there are chemical imbalances, and I understand that. But generally speaking, we have bad days. We feel sorry for ourselves. We know we don't, what, we're believing some kind of lie. I'm of the opinion that we're all believing some kind of lie, because if we weren't, we'd be walking, talking miracles. We would, our shadow will be healing people. We would see miracles like in the book of Acts. Why don't we? Because we don't believe we can, or we don't believe it's for today, or we don't believe that God can use us because we're not an apostle, or whatever it is. We're all believing some kind of lie. We need Need our minds renewed and they won't be completely renewed until we get to heaven. God was always going to be working on us. But that's a little bit different here than the depths of Satan. The New International Version calls it Satan's so-called deep secrets. The New Living Translation refers to them as the depths of Satan. The Passion Translation says deep satanic secrets. False prophets, these teachers, there's, uh, you, you hear all mysteries of this and the mysteries of that. There are mysteries in the word of God. There are many awesome, Jesus said, to you it's, it, it's given them to know the mysteries of the kingdom. And, and we should explore the mysteries of the kingdom. But a, a lot of these people, they're calling it mystery. It's not mystery, it's heresy. You've got to find it in the Bible yourself. You cannot take the witch's word for it. I don't know what's gotten into me today. I think I had to behave myself when I was with Cindy Jacobs. I had to behave myself. I had to do it. I had to restrain myself. I don't want to get rebuked in front of 4,000 people. But now I'm home. Amen. So before you get too impressed with the deep messages that you never heard before, judge the source. Go see it with your eyes and your Bible. You should be able to find it. We don't all need all this extra biblical, extracurricular revelation. It's, it's, it's not good. We want to renew our minds to that. Satan comes as an angel of light with deep revelation that leads people away from Christ. The gospel is simple. 